birthday, number 73. Five miles a day, speed walk. Beautiful outside today. Just would like to mention something about this coronavirus thing. As time passes, I'm realizing I probably had coronavirus in January. Got it from my wife. She went on a cruise to Mexico, first week of January. Her and her cousin came back sick as a dog. I never seen somebody so sick. Like she almost died. I had it, but it, it was bad for me. But I mean, I, I exercised five miles a day and my immune system was pretty good, a lot better than hers. So, but I was still sick as a dog for like two weeks, three weeks. But uh, I'm hearing symptoms like severe headache, uh, muscles in your legs so tired. That's what I had. I had a headache, felt like I was shot between the eyes. Never had a headache hurt that bad. Right here. And I went to exercise my five miles every day. And, and I walked about a block. I couldn't go no more. I had to turn around and go home. And that's unusual because I've exercised my whole life. I ran marathons, triathlons, you know, so... This was pretty bad. I thought it was the flu. Finally, uh, watching my wife lay in bed and feel sorry for herself for weeks, you know, I got up, made myself exercise after about four or five days, started getting better. And what helped me was I took two Tylenol like every four hours. That made the headache go away. And I think that really helped fight off the disease. Plus at one point I got where I started a little breathing problem like you know if you walk into a smoke-filled room you, if you try to breathe that in it's just not doesn't feel like a good breath so the wife had got out the vaporizer and that was helping her so I sat on the floor on the chair on, you know on the floor and I put a blanket over me distilled water and I was breathing that vapor into my lungs and God it, I could tell it was doing good couldn't stand it no more than about 10 or 15 minutes. But the next day I started feeling a lot better just by taking Tylenol. And uh, I also, I have asthma. So I had my asthma inhaler, which I was using, which I think helped clear up my lungs. But I mean, I'm 100% now. And I have three underlying problems. Okay, I have heart disease. I had quadruple bypass surgery. I am borderline diabetic. If I eat like a fool, I will be diabetic, so I don't. And I have asthma. And, uh, you know, I keep them all at bay by exercising five miles a day and staying in shape, trying to eat, eat good, you know, grilled chicken, grilled fish, vegetables. Don't eat red meat once a year, maybe. Lay off the fat, the salt, the sugar. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm 73 today, it's my birthday. And uh, I love coming out here and doing five miles. I, normally I'm speed walking, I used to jog and run. I used to do five, eight minute miles. But uh, the older you get, you gotta slow down. So you don't wanna be banging your knees and stuff. So speed walking is great. You lose weight, you stay in shape, keep your lungs and your heart working. And uh, just to tell you about this Corona crap, I mean, damn, like I say, nobody even heard the word Corona till like February, but there we were sick in January and the wife, she finally went to the doctor. And uh, I mean, she was in bad shape. And uh, they tested her, said she didn't have the flu. And uh, all they told her was, oh, it's an upper respiratory infection. But be damn, I bet you that was the coronavirus. And this was back in January. And them damn Chinese knew about this shit a long time ago. But whatever. Okay, I'm not going to go there. But I'll tell you one thing. I love Donald Trump. He's a fighter. And he's a good president. And he's a good man. And I wish the damn fake news media and the god darn stupid Democrats would quit acting like idiots and join him and the people of this country to try to save our lives. Yes, he'll be reelected. Doesn't matter what the hell y'all do. For God's sake, the man made peace with North Korea. Hell, that's worth re-election right there. Anyway, seriously, if any of you think you have this disease, try your Tylenol, get your vaporizer, 
Get some exercise. The biggest thing, the one biggest thing if I had to say is you got to get up off your ass. Don't lay in that bed and die. Don't lay in that bed and feel sorry for yourself. Get up. Make yourself get up. Walk around that house if that's all you can do. Walk to the mailbox and back. And if you can walk a mile, do it every day. Push yourself. You can fight this disease and you can beat it. I'm living proof. Like I said, 72 years old, I'm healthy, not a problem. I'm still afraid of it, you know, but uh, I will get tested later, I hope, and try to see if I had the shit, but pretty damn sure. Coming back from Mexico on a cruise ship, you know, in January, when this thing was rampant, starting to go all over the world. And like I said, my wife, she almost died. I mean, she finally started pushing herself and got out of bed and going to the doctor and you know, taking breathing treatments and Tylenol. And I think they gave her antibiotics and some kind of shot, but, and she's 68. So, you know, you can have underlying conditions and you can be old as dirt and you can still beat this thing. Don't worry about it, but you gotta fight and you gotta do what you gotta do. If you gotta go to the doctor, go. So anyway, I'm no doctor, but I'm just telling you, it worked for me. So God bless, be safe, vote Donald Trump, and let's keep America great, and let's get it back, because we will get it back. Next year at this time, it's gonna be the wonderful, loving United States of America, and Hollywood, and the Democrats, and the frickin' fake-ass media can all kiss my ass. Thank you.